Namaste, beautiful people. Welcome to AM Yoga Moves. My name is Anne Marie. In today's tutorial, we're going to be talking about the third yama in the principles of yoga, which are the yamas and niyamas. And the third yama is called Ashteya, which means non stealing. So, from a very basic and obvious perspective, if we look at non stealing in our daily lives, we want to avoid taking what doesn't belong to us materially, of course. But if we take a look at Ashteya from um, a bit of a more subtle perspective, we can think about also the stealing of ideas. For example, as yoga teachers, we always try to state our sources of where we're taking our ideas from. In a general sense, the yogic approach, if I could say, is to really just share because yoga used to be transmitted from mouth to ear um, and so the general concept in yoga practitioners is that you know nothing really belongs to you everybody's sort of borrowing um, and there have been yoga teachers in the past which have tried to sort of patent their yoga sequence or whatever um, arguably that's not uh, very ashteya because they didn't invent the postures. The postures have existed for thousands of years and yoga as well. So the idea to make that your own and that nobody else can, can use it and have to pay for that is sort of uh, counter to the whole philosophy of yoga. But in any case, <laughs> for example, uh, when I do my tutorials, I always state uh, the sources, the inspirations, where I took some of the the ideas that I share with you or what I inspired myself from. In this case, uh, today I'd like to just present you this uh, book by Deborah Adele, which is The Yamas and Niyamas. It's a very interesting book and you can just read bits and, and parts of it. You don't need to read it from beginning to end and it's, it's quite interesting about the Yama and Niyama. Very good, uh, very good book for that. So, of course, non-stealing ideas. Um, we can think about non-stealing also from the perspective of from the perspective of time. So are you stealing other people's times? Are you chronically late? <laughs> you know, because by being late, you're actually hindering the person that's waiting for you, for you, uh, the ability for them to be doing what they want to be doing or what they were supposed to be doing. So stealing time. Um, are you stealing uh, other people's energy? Are you a very needy person and you sort of need people to give you attention? Um, for example, in a conversation, if somebody's talking about a travel that they're about to go on a trip, uh, do you have a tendency to sort of cut in and make it about you and talk about your next travel and how much more, you know, amazing it is and more special it is, that sort of thing. So it's important to be aware of that and aware of our behaviors. Um, are you stealing other people's peace? Uh, you know, are you being, uh, are you envious of other people? I think that one of the fundamental um, values that comes with Ashteya, which is sort of not the opposite, I would say, but is to cultivate uh, an attitude of, of gratitude and of contentment with what we have, okay? A mantra that we can think about for that is Om Mani Padme Um, which means, you know, I am complete. I have and I am everything that I need to be. Uh, so that is a good mantra to keep in mind. Om Mani Padme Um. Beautiful mantra. Um, and coming back to the idea of, of stealing, all of those things that we've talked about in stealing in others, we can also be stealing from ourselves, stealing your own time, whether it be through your eating habits. Um, are you... Are you overworking yourself? Are you burning the candle by, by both ends? By doing that, by living in a life that is not balanced, you are stealing from your own self and your own future self, uh, which is not gonna be able to, to sustain. You can't sustain that way of living for as long as, as another person who is living um, from a more balanced point of view. So in your habits, and this also comes back to the money uh, situation I was talking about earlier, 
if you are living beyond your means, you are also stealing from your future self because at one point you're gonna to have to refund that money and you're gonna to have to work. So nothing is ever free in this world. Everything that we want, uh, we need to work hard for it. So it's important to think about where we wanna actually put our energy and be able to take a look at ourselves in the mirror to really assess, hey, you know, um, am I where I want to be? And if not, am I taking the means to actually go there? And that also taps into the other yama that we've discussed before, which is satya, truth. So another way that we can be stealing from ourselves is, you know, if we're living in constantly in fear and in anxiety, we're not allowing ourselves to live in the present moment, which is the most, <laughs> the only thing, everything that is ever really real is the present moment and it seems as though as humans in this three-dimensional body we're always either living in the past or living in the future trying to mold and shape whatever is happening right now in order to make it what we want to be and obviously this is much more easy easily said than done uh, <laughs> the ego the the way we are raised uh, makes us be that we are trying to always become something and being a, a, with more things, a better version of ourselves, when in fact, um, the better way of doing it would be not that we're not putting the effort, as I said before, we need to put in the effort, but we also need to be to contemplate and be grateful for each moment exactly as it presents itself to us and, uh, and greet it with an open heart so yeah and i guess the last uh, point that i would like to talk about is stealing also from from the earth from uh, from gaia so there's so many human beings on the planet right now and it just seems as though we're overusing the resources which is inevitably going to lead us to a very bad situation if we do not do anything about it so in a spirit of not of Ashteya, um, it's nice to look at, you know, am I taking more than what I need? Am I actually with what I'm getting, am I hoarding it or am I giving it back in some other way or shape or form to uh, the community or to the world or to the earth? So this idea of cycle, so that what comes in, something comes in, something also needs to come out and not hoarding uh hoarding that hoarding things from a material or from an energetic perspective so the asana class that i've prepared for you this week uh we're going to be um the postures that i'm going to be presenting to you uh, i'm going to be using a lot of props blocks straps etc and i'm going to be giving a lot of options so that we move um really I would like you to approach the asana class in such a way that to do just enough yet not too much so really find that sweet spot where you're doing exactly exploring the posture exactly the way that your body and you that the way that you need in that moment because again uh stealing you know if you are somebody that's like working out every day and just like pushing 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 that is not a sustainable way of living either and you're also stealing from your future self by doing that and this is not something that is that is taught to us um you know there's this saying that goes no pain no gain um <laughs> and there's another saying in yoga that i don't know where it comes from but uh the saying is no pain no pain okay so we don't want that bad sort of that bad kind of pain and if you are pushing yourself beyond your limits you risk injury and so it's also a form of, of stealing from yourself. So it's going to be an interesting class with a lot of options, a lot of variety. And um, we're also going to be doing a pranayama exercise called Nadi Shodan, <clears throat> Nadi Shodan which is going to allow us to tap, us, tap into the areas of the lungs that we normally don't tap into when we're just breathing normally in, in, in our day-to-day -day lives. So we're going to be really cleansing. It's going to be very cleansing pranayama. And I'm looking forward to share this class with you. 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to comment, press like, you're more than welcome to do so. If you have questions, leave them down there for me and I'll get right back to you. And uh, we'll see each other very soon on our mats. Okay, so sending lots of love your way.